Alright guys, Spiff here. Welcome back. Today, let's talk about the MX3 Air Mouse. If you like consuming media all the time, doing it on multiple devices, casting and switching in between them, like I do, you may find it very difficult and inconvenient to switch between controls. I already have this for my laptop and this works really well in controlling my laptop and smart functions of my smart TV. But they don't have the basic infrared capabilities like turning off the TV, switching in between channels, volume controls, and so on. But wait, I found a product that promises to combine the keyboard and mouse plus the added bonus of controlling your TV via infrared. So here's my new air mouse. Let's check it out. Let's do this. I got the package bundled with another item. I usually do this to save shipping. It was priced 315 pesos or around 6 US dollars. It claims to be compatible with PC or PC-like devices, smart TVs, and even projectors. Along with that, Common operating systems are also supported. I only got the backlit version without microphone since it was not available from the seller. Basic functions include wireless keyboard and air mouse that can be controlled around 10 meters of distance using 6-axis inertia sensors, whatever that means. It can also be used as a universal remote that can be programmed to replicate a real TV remote using the infrared sensor. The box comes with a dongle, a manual, and the air mouse itself. The front of the remote is for the TV, and the back is a QWERTY keyboard. The shell is all plastic, glossy in front, matte at the back. After a couple minutes out of the box, the glossy front part already looked like a year old. On the other side, the matte back part looks and feels premium. On top, we have the programmable power button and a LED indicator. The next buttons I call media controls. It includes fast rewind, fast forward, previous track, next track, search, play pause, zoom in, and zoom out. Next are mostly used for navigational controls. The context menu, home button, back, arrows and OK button, volume rocker, mute, mouse cursor lock, page up and down rocker. This is followed by the num keys. Then there are the special keys which includes the media player, email, backlight slash microphone if your product supports it, and the browser button. Finally, we have the four colored programmable keys at the bottom. At the back is the keyboard part. It contains most of the keys I used on my laptop except the control and Windows keys. Using it as a TV remote, the air mouse is not ergonomic. Using the remote slash pointer part will make you unintentionally press the keyboard part eventually. The keyboard part on the other side feels good to the hands. The keys has a good space in between and the side grips are just right. Like most TV remotes, the air mouse is also powered by two AAA batteries. It's a good thing I always have spare for times like this. Pressing the backlight button activates the backlight. The light and key presses will be activated depending on the part that you're on. This is good when you are concerned about the battery life or concerned about pressing the keys at the back part. You need to insert the dongle in order to use most of the functions. However, you can use the 5 programmable keys via infrared without using the dongle. My laptop is currently running Windows 10 and the air mouse works out of the box. 
it feels like using the Wii all of a sudden. The OK button is for clicking and it also supports double click. The keyboard part was made quite well. The layout is QWERTY and the spaces in between are OK. Plus, most keys were there. My only gripe is that there is no control and Windows keys and key combination is not supported. We have five programmable buttons on the air mouse. They are the power button and four colored buttons at the bottom. These buttons utilize the infrared functionality of the TV. You can even use these buttons even if the dongle is not connected. And you may also reset and unlearn the buttons by simultaneously pressing the TV and the delete buttons on the air mouse. Out of the box, the air mouse can work with most smart TV smart functions. However, you may need to program it to be able to use the basic functions like turning off or turning on the TV. To program the air mouse, position the two remotes as shown. Press and hold the TV button until the LED flashes rapidly. Release the TV button and it will flash slowly this time. The air mouse is now on learning mode. Continuously press the TV remotes button that you want to learn. In this example, the power button. Do this until the air mouse LED will have a steady light. Depending on your TV, this may take a long time. Patience is the key. Go back to step 1 if the LED turns off. If the LED turns steady, it means it detected the other remote's key press. Next is to tap the button you want to assign it to. Here, the air mouse power button. Then press the TV button to end the learning mode. Now that the air mouse learned the TV's power button functionality, I can now turn off the TV via infrared. The other functions like the volume and channel numbers can work without IR. Well, this may differ on some TVs. I was kinda disappointed the page tracker did not function as the channel rocker. Instead, page up opens Netflix and page down opens YouTube. Unfortunately, it won't work on the Netflix app of my Coca TV. YouTube on the other hand works fine. The air mouse shines bright with the browser app on my TV. Controlling the cursor and navigating sites is a breeze. Now let's check the air mouse using an Android box. Here I'm using Nvidia Shield TV. Navigation works fine. Let's try the Netflix app. It works good. Now what about YouTube? Perfect. Okay, here's the good part. It's quite cheap for an all-in-one TV remote slash keyboard slash mouse with an infrared 2.5G RF and gyro capabilities. The backlit feature is really useful in the dark. It also switches on and off depending on what control you're using 
and it switches off when not used for 20 seconds, saving battery life. The gyro mouse is super awesome. It feels like using the Wiimote. Not as awesome as the Wiimote, but it will serve its purpose. It works quite well with my Windows 10 laptop, though the E or Internet Explorer button or the browser button won't work on my laptop, probably because I made some modifications. And of course, launching apps will depend on what apps you have installed. And though some TV button functionalities failed, most of my Coca Smart TV commands are there. You just have to pair and program the buttons that you need. And it works perfectly on my Nvidia Shield TV, which has an Android system, Android 11. It means it most probably worked perfect on any Android TV boxes that you may have. Okay, here's the bad part. I don't like glossy finish on any handheld gadgets. It now looks very old with all those fingerprints all over. They should have matted it like the keyboard part. While the keyboard layout is acceptable and mostly comfortable, it's not very ergonomic when you use it as a pointer. It's really bulky for me. Learning or programming the buttons via infrared takes too long to do. I can just imagine most users will just give up trying to program their remotes. And there are times that you thought you're done because the LED already gave a steady red light, but it just won't work like it's supposed to do. You have to try again and again to get it right. And in my experience, it took more than 100 presses and at least 5 steady red lights till I got the infrared working. To be fair with the manufacturers, they gave a disclaimer on the manual that some keys may not be applicable on some devices and some TVs just won't work with the air mouse. This is a universal remote after all and these types of remotes can only provide some basic functionalities, not all. And what matters most for me is that I got what I wanted. I have a gadget that can control my laptop, my smart TV, and also my Nvidia Shield. For me, the Air Mouse may not be the best control for all devices, but the effort of combining everything that I needed for control was well worth it. The learning process is a pain in the ass though. Let me hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Like and share to show your support. Don't forget to subscribe to see more unboxings of unusual gadgets like this one. That's it for now. As always, see you in the next one. Ciao, best.